Hey! Sorry, y'all. You know, we're trying to multitask here. <laughs> Where's your glass, Joe? All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> hey! What's up, everybody? It's us. You know who us is? is. Us is, is Kitchen Chronicles with Joe and T. Come on and sit down at the table! <laughs> Joe was excited because I gave him some a uh, mouth, honey. ear, <laughs> nose, <laughs> finger full of hot tea. I gave him a pre-podcast uh, section of tea. Listen, you know, like tea. okay, so y'all y'all know that that tea tea doesn't work at um, Condé anymore. I don't think they knew that, but let's tell them. No, I don't work at Condé anymore. She doesn't y'all. work at Condé no um, more because you my know, friend left me. She, yeah, but that's okay. She went bye bye. Uh, but. And you know what? As long as he ain't saying she wouldn't want to be in a better place, I'm good. I did tell somebody that today. I, they asked this. Oh, God. You know what? He said, tea. He said, where did tea go? I said, well, she wants to be in a better place. Oh. I was like, oh, my God. Because <laughs> you know when you say that. You know, somebody that went home to be with the Lord. Honey, you <laughs> get my repast together. Yay! <laughs> now, listen, we, you know we're going to have a good Honey, repast. Honey, we're going to have a party. We are going to have a good gonna, repast for you. We're going to have Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to talk you. about that. Let's not talk about that. Oh, my God. So, listen, y'all come pull up at the table. You know, we've had some good dinner guests. Oh, my God, We've y'all. had some good dinner guests. We've had, you, we have a lot more interviews that we haven't put up yet. Yes, um, but yes. But it's, we've had some... It's just the beginning. That's all I got to say. Listen, y'all, y'all just got to stay tuned because we have Mrs. Ashley Rouse. Uh, yep. We have Caitlin Cat- Calgano. Yeah. Um, Willow Lindley. Willow. Oh, my God. So y'all just stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned because I'm telling you, and, and we've, been, we've been getting really good reviews on our podcast. Have you seen, did you see what I sent you? Yes. I loved you? Yes. Yeah. We have, we have a following, y'all. We got a following. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so, so what are we talking about today? Y'all, y'all ready for it? So you know, we always, we always, we, we talk about food. I mean, that's what we're about. Y'all know, y'all know how we do. But one of the things that we love to talk about most is fried chicken. Oh yes, God. Let me tell y'all something. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Barbecue chicken is good. It's good. Stewed chicken is good. Roast Amazing. chicken even has its place. It has its place. But there ain't nothing like Ugh. a piece of crispy fried chicken straight out the oil. Hot out the oil. Hey! Ain't nothing like it! And let me tell you something. <laughs> what you gotta do is you gotta get uh, some cold potato salad. Some cold potato salad. Just a nice cold potato salad to just sit on the side of the hot chicken. And you just wanna pull, mm-hmm. pull the skin off. Mm-hmm. Pull the skin <laughs> off and just eat and just put it and get grab a potato. And just, mm. or a piece of bread, a piece of white bread, where the oil done soaked up in the bread so good. Oh. Can you tell, can you tell that we being fat? That's, we, we don't care. Because mm. that's what we are. Okay, so, yeah. going along that same vein, we're going to talk about this chain of, this fried chicken chain that neither one of us has heard about. We never But supposedly, it. it's the bomb. And let me tell you something, these folks, I mean, the, it is getting rave Reviews. They really are. And I'm telling you, it's they it's literally like right under our noses. Like we we didn't know how close it was, but it's like literally right under our noses. And it's and I heard this chicken is the bomb. Like it is something it's like the bee's knees. Yeah, it's okay, so it's crispy, crunchy chicken. That's the actual name of it. KKC, not to be confused with KFC. It's KKC. KKC. Um, but you won't find these in freestanding um, locations like a, a Popeyes or a KFC or uh, you know whatever, they're mostly they cater more towards gas stations, bodegas. Um, they're from Louisiana, but that's what they cater to. They don't they don't have a, their own building, which is probably which is why we don't they don't advertise. You don't see commercials mm-hmm. about them. But let me tell you something, it's it's a twenty eight year old company. And I'm scrolling down so I can give you the correct, the correct information. Their numbers, their, their franchise numbers, they have 2,200 locations in 41 states. Mm. They're, smi- they're slightly smaller than Popeyes. Popeyes has 2,700 locations, um, and only more. They, if that's, which is only 500, 500 more than KKC. 
But check this out, because Joe was a Chick-fil-A lover. I love Chick-fil-A. KKC is larger than Chick-fil-A. Chick what? Chick-fil-A only has 2,100 locations. KKC has 2,200. Mm. Let me tell y'all something. I think this bears us going to find, to, like, you know, quality control. We need to go. We need Listen, to go. We, we, Joe mm. and T have to go pull up and make a visit. So now, now y'all know that KFC had, KFC, Popeyes, that everybody has different items on their menu. Right. Um, this particular, okay, so it's, it's Louisiana based, right? Right, which means it's spicy. So it's, so a spicy chicken. So they have some things on the menu like, uh, pork stuffed boudin bites, mm. uh, jambalaya, they got peach cobbler, sweet potato pie, and they got breakfast empanadas filled with egg and chorizo. Breakfast empanadas. Hold on, hold on. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you failed to mention the biscuits wrapped in honey biscuits uh, how do you wrap a let me biscuit tell you in something honey? let me tell you something how how is that let me give you a quote from a top chef contestant he's a restaurateur mm -hmm. his name is dale taldi t-a-l-d-e mm -hmm. those in the know this is him this is his quote those in the know are obsessed their fried chicken is ill mm -hmm. the first time i had it was in brooklyn um but he prefers the miami location that stocks mounds of the fried chicken. I go there every time that I'm in Miami, and I'm in Miami once per month. There, it's bomb as f. Now, when you gotta, when <laughs> when 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 you cuss, hmm. when you gotta cuss about fried chicken, then you know it's good. Listen, let me tell you something. You know, and it's so crazy because I it's it's saying that it's a household name. I never heard of never, this place. Never, never heard of them. I ever. never heard of this place. So nope. it, I mean, it it is it's. She it's, said it's, it has a lot of locations. So I'm telling, where 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 have we been? I well, feel you like know, we've what been under a rock somewhere. But it it says, look, it, um, we're getting into a thrillers, y'all. Just so y'all can read up on yourselves, thrillers.com, where we get a lot of our information. Um, it. It's almost exclusively targeting convenience stores. That's how they expand through convenience stores, gas stations, mom and pop shops. Um, <clears throat> you know what? And, and you know what? Not for nothing. I've been. You know, in Mississippi, they have a lot of hot chicken. Hot chicken. They do have a, mm. a lot of hot chicken, but they sell some of the best food. Out of a gas station. Yes. Some of the best food. I'm telling you, you could be driving down um, one of them country roads and you pull over at a gas, like those gas stations that say they got fish and they got hot chicken and they got all these different things. Baby, no, stop there. But, but you stop know Stop at that spot. But you know, but, but you know why that, that food is bomb? Because mother is in the back. Let me tell you something. What she Frying got on? Frying that food. Tell her what she, she got on. Let me, let me tell you. First of all, she she don't have on nonsense. She got on house shoes. Yes, she do. She got on them run over house shoes. She got on them house shoes that remember them old house shoes that that just got the little fuzz on the top. Mm hmm. With the little plastic bottom. That's what she got on. And she got on them little cobbler aprons. Y'all know what a cobbler apron is. <laughs> she got on one of them cobbler aprons, the ones that got them big flowers on it with the two little pockets. She got that on. And let me tell you something. She got a gold tooth in her mouth. Yes, she do. She got a gold tooth in her mouth, and she pulled her wig back just a little bit so she could Don't get the. Don't forget that cigarette hanging out the corner. Of her she mouth. got a little cigarette right here. Yes, she do. And she got a she got a a a, a hair net. Yes, she do. And she got her wig pushed back so she won't sweat too hot. That's some. Let me tell you something. Y'all want to eat at these five star Michelin restaurants, and no, I'm not knocking hey. you. We, no, you we enjoy hey. yourself because I want to eat there too. But let me tell you something. Hmm. It ain't nothing. You want to satisfy your soul? It ain't nothing like a mother hovering over a, a, a hot stove singing hymns. Ain't nothing like that. We keep telling y'all this, but y'all must think that we lying to you. I We're not you. lying. Huh. Let me tell you, it's something different when you sing over your food. Hmm. You taste it when you sing over your food. I promise you. You taste the happiness. You, did you ever hear Tiffany Haddish talk about her... Her greens? Yes. But you got to smile when you make them greens. You got to smile when you make with certain foods. You just <laughs> you have to have a certain attitude when you, you do. like when you when you when you making things and 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 you messed up in your spirit. I don't want that food because they're gonna taste like strife. It's gonna taste like hot strife. I don't want that food. It's gonna taste like negativity. It's gonna taste like negativity. <laughs> I don't want the food that tastes like burdens. I don't want that. <laughs> 
I don't want your bird and meatloaf. We don't give taste, me your bird and meatloaf. I want to taste your rainbow and sunshine. Yes, I want to. I want to taste the hymns of Honey. Jesus. I want those are the those are the. I want to taste the the biscuits of the Lord. Can I want can that. Can you hear how excited we all were? Baby. You think this is a, this is not a game. This is this not, is a, not game, a game, y'all. <laughs> it's not a game. Listen, so listen. It's um, th- you can actually open up a chain. I, I, you can. You can open up a chain. I'm I'm, I'm not too sure how you they know. They found well. They were founded in 1989. Okay. They didn't see any growth until 17 years later. Okay. Um, so pause right there. Okay. Just for those who are you, I'm just going to interject real quick. For those of y'all who are starting your business, talk about it. For those of you who talk are, about it, you know, your entrepreneur and you know, people are kinda frowning on you and you just know that one of these days your business is gonna pop. Let me tell you something, keep at it. Keep at it. Google started out in the basement. Amazon did did he had a desk, a, a desk, desk and a piece of paper with Amazon written across it, posted on the wall behind him. Where he at now? Y'all got to keep going. Let me tell you something. And let me, Maybe. Okay, let me explain something. Let me tell you something else. You can be excited about your idea. We Look, we love that all day, every day. But excitement fades when stress and, and struggles start coming in. So in addition to being excited about what you want to start, you have, a, have, have to have determination. Honey. You have to have faith. I promise and you. And you have to hustle. I mean, this is turning into a sermon, but we're telling you, we're telling you what we know, and we and we're telling you for a reason. So I'm telling y'all that because they, they they're, they're saying that it it wasn't going that great at first. No, it wasn't. And you know what? Anything that's worth anything that's worth anything and worth fighting for, you're gonna fight for. You're gonna go forward. You're gonna go the extra mile of the way. So listen, don't don't despise small beginnings. Because it's the and small turn, beginnings, and don't turn your nose down at somebody that wants something wants to start something small. I promise you, because small small is okay because it's a start. It's something. It's a seed. It could be look. It could be a takeout. Honey, listen. Hmm. You got to do what you got to do. So yeah. So we so we want y'all to look up this spot, KKC. Um, and I'm telling you, we we, we Joe and T. We we I I feel like we're gonna have to have a we're gonna have to do a second video about Honey? this because we have to try this chicken out to make sure you know what other chicken I like uh oh I, I, I enjoy a good hot piece of Amy Ruth's chicken you ever been to Amy Ruth's in Harlem I think so I love their chicken I think it's so don't they have lemonade that's cracked or iced tea that's cracked they have Kool-Aid I think I've been there but that was it was years and years they had cool Hold day. on. Hold on. Did I tell you all did they ever tell you all the stop and shop story? <laughs> okay. So I had never people used to rave and rant about Pathmark chicken. And I didn't quite care for it. Because I'm like, I don't know what the big fuss is, because you know me and Joe, we're New York fried, Honey, ride or die. All day. Ride or die. All day. Regardless of what Sabrina Neesmith says. But anyway. Ooh, name <laughs> dropping. <laughs> We're gonna have to. Call, oh yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We're gonna. Yeah, we we talked about that on Sunday. But anyway. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I went into a stop and shop. Went, the doors opened, and I smelled the chicken. When the doors opened, I love it. I walked around that whole entire store until I found where they was where they, where they were selling that chicken. You was now like you, a hound. Just. I guess I was like I was stiff in the air. I was sniffing. The people was looking. Honey, anyway. But you know, but you know how sometimes something smells good, but doesn't they don't it doesn't taste good. Like a cake will look pretty, but taste nasty. Honey, I, honey. I bought two pieces of that chicken. I was drooling while I was eating. Baby, don't let me tell you. Don't ever underestimate where something is. Mm-hmm. A gas station, grocery store, a bodega. It don't. You turn, it, you, do, it doesn't matter. Don't turn up your nose. Don't turn up your don't nose. Turn, don't, please don't turn up your nose because I'm telling you that's some of the best food mm. you'll ever have in your in your life. life. I'm telling you, it'll feed your spirit. It'll, it'll satisfy feed your, your soul. soul down to your toes. I promise you, y'all. Please don't play games. Don't do that. I've, I've had some of the best. Bacon, egg, and cheese is from the little griddle that they got in the corner store. You, hot shit. you better talk about it. I've had a bacon, egg, and cheese that'll make you want to slap your mother. Have you ever had a chopped... Punch a the chop- hell out of her. Just A, a chopped steak and cheese? A top- 
chopped cheese. <laughs> we're telling, we're telling things. With a with a bread, the, the the hero bread is a little greasy. Yeah. With some onion. Oh. Yes, sir. Ooh. Okay. Y'all <laughs> don't understand. Listen, we need y'all to be our investigative reporters. Well, I mean, yes. we're gonna, we're going to seek this place out ourselves, but we want you to get on the bandwagon as well. So if you find a KKC or if you've been to a KKC. Hit us up. Yes, let we, us know. We want y'all to let us know because we, we we need some honest feedback. We need y'all to really tell us, like, okay, y'all really need to go to this place. Right. Like or, we, you know, it's not worth the hype. Right. But we got chefs and people, like, like raving, drooling about it. So it can't be all that bad. Listen, I will. Listen. Okay. We'll, we'll have to figure it out and, and make a road trip. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna tell you tell you real quick again our information, how to how to how to find us, how to talk to us, because we really want to know who has been and who who is going, um, and when you go, how 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 did you like it? So you can um, you can actually comment on our podcast uh, page, which yes. is Kitchen Chronicles um, with JT at Podbean. Yes, at Podbean. Um, if you guys go to our Instagram, we have the link in our no, bio. No, 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 no. It's not. It's the, I changed the link in our bio to our YouTube channel, but I'm a, I can change it back. You know, every, every once in a while, I'm just going to change we'll it back and, forth, back, back, back and forth. Back and forth, right. But we're, we're on iTunes. And Google Play. On Google Play. Uh, like we said, Podbean, it'll pop right up. I mean, y'all know how to look up a podcast. You can, you can um, and, and all of them, under all three of those social social media Sites, it's always Kitchen Chronicles with Joe and T. Yes. Either Joe and T or JT, but it's mm -hmm. always Kitchen Chronicles with a J and a T. Um, you can always send us an email at uh, Kitchen Chronicles with JT at gmail.com. Yes, and you can visit our website at Kitchen Chronicles with JT.com. And we have recipes up there. Yeah, we do. Our, our res those are our actual recipes, y'all. We, we, we did that. We did that. So, y'all. Check that out. Uh, we also have merchandise up there. T-shirts, hoodies. Y'all get y'all a, a T-shirt. And mugs. summer is coming. We got this T-shirts. Listen, we want y'all to rock we out. We have all of that. Come on and we stop have, playing. We, we, we should start some aprons. Some aprons ooh. selling. Ooh. But you know what? That's that alone. It's a long line. It's a long ooh. line. Ooh. Also, check Fancy. out our YouTube page, y'all. Come on, y'all. Um, Kitchen Chronicles with Joe and T. Yes. We're, it'll pop right up. We got over almost 180 videos up there I now. think we have like 190. Oh. Something like that. Content. Come on, content. <laughs> it is all something different. How about that? How about that? Because, you know, we can talk all kinds of ways about food. Honey. Sometimes we go off left, but that's okay. Well, we always come back. Because that's what happens at the dinner table. You finish eating. You got your button, your pants unzipped, unbuttoned. Mm -hmm. You full. You feel drowsy. And you start talking ish about everything. Everything. Politics, food, current world events. I promise you. And you have a good time yeah, doing you do. And sometimes you might even argue. Yeah, you do. You might even have a little a little argument, and that's good too. But just don't cut nobody. That's we we don't want to cut nobody. That's at a, the, that's at the table. That's another story. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we gonna go. We gonna go because we done they raved and so ranted much. and and built this place up. Yeah, we going and we want y'all to go. and We want y'all to tell us. KKC. KKC. Um, not in a freestanding. Look them up because we don't know what they're in. Mom and pop shops, gas stations, bodegas. Convenience stores, y'all gotta look them up. Mm -hmm. But we gonna we gonna go on that hunt. We on a, we on our way. We are on our way. We're on our way. KKC, look out for Joe and T. And we tagging you in this podcast and this video because you know we can be spokespeople. Listen, look, we'll do anything for some food. <laughs> we'll do Listen, you don't have to pay us in cash right just now. Give just us, give, give just us a bucket of chicken. Listen, just give us a bucket of chicken. We'll be we good. Have we, we, and some we, potato salad and that peach. Yes! I'll take the peach cobbler because, you know, yes. Joe don't like cooked fruit. Yeah. <laughs> if, it, if it got crispy crust, I'll eat it. You I ain't eating the crust off of my peach cobbler. Y'all. Thank you all so thank much Thank you all for, for tuning listening. in. We love you so very much. And thank you for the people who have been listening and the, following us. 
Thank y'all for coming. More coming to the dinner table, y'all. More is coming. Listen, we we, coming. we gonna have to get a bigger place because we, we I feel like our dinner table is getting hey, ready to expand. Come on now. Everybody's welcome to the dinner Speak table. Speak those things that are not. Everybody's are. welcome to the... <laughs> I said everybody. Come on here. Everybody is welcome at the dinner table. Yeah. We're we gonna have to put... <laughs> we're gonna have to put... um. Why can't I think of his name? That made our um, that made our uh, music. Jamal. We are gonna have to put Jamal on the payroll. <laughs> yeah, we are, yeah, we gonna have to pay him somehow. Jamal, we gonna pay. We gonna Jamal, give you a check. Yes, we got we are. you. We love you. Two Bye, dollars. everybody. Bye. <laughs>